morning children, how are you? Um, I'm going down the lane before anybody gets any um, stressy ideas. Uh, oh, what a sunset, what a sunset. Like, never mind, never mind, never mind. So today we are starting to do the other cubicle shed out. Um, we've known for, oh, Starling. I learned yesterday that starlings like maize silage more than they do normal silage, so fingers crossed they don't come for us. Uh, yes, we're starting to do the other side of the cubicle shed out. Now, I don't know whether um, Spender's come to help us. Our friend Garay is actually in hospital, um, who was meant to be doing it, so best wishes to our Garay. Um, obviously, I'm not cross at you for not coming because you actually have a legitimate excuse, which is nearly, you know, being really quite poorly. Um, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I love him. Like, I love him. Good morning, children. How are you? So we've just finished. Just bring me. He's gone. We're currently playing uh, Catch the Alcathene. Yeah. Ready? Good lad. Oh, that nearly touched the electric cables. Probably not a good idea. Has he got a stick? <laughs> oh, he's very proud of his stick. Look at this. Oh, you're going and doing some water piping. Well done, Winnie Hoof. Well done. The wet. Here, I've got you some more knives. All oh, right, I've just sharpened you one. Bobcat's rolling backwards. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Water beds. At least to be comfortable. I've just plonked these here. Where 
there, there's been a hole. Good point. Last things in here were dairy bullocks. And obviously their pisher is in the middle of them and not at the back of them. So they were pishing in the wrong place. All over the mats. I was searching for my a Stanley knife to go with these blades and I couldn't find him one and I felt terrible. So I sharpened him to within an inch of its life, this, to find that he already has the Stanley knife that I spent half an hour looking through every coat pocket that we own, of which we have many. It says it's so organic, there's a worm living in it. <coughs> to note that whilst we are not particularly practical people, like we wouldn't go off putting a shed up by ourselves or anything, would we? Um, we like to assist and get the crowbar out and destroy stuff. Like it's really is our forte of just taking things to pieces. Love doing that. Like why the day you moved in, took a crowbar to a fireplace. Like we used to call it a Jimmy bar. Why do we call it a Jimmy bar? A je what is it, a Jimmy bar? We called it a Jimmy bar. It's red. He bought it from Penrith Auction when he was little find a coarse brush and then I need to go through with a metal detector, no, magnet even, and pick up things like this. Uh, anything that's seen, put it in there because we don't want anything to slurry. Yeah, there is obviously a few bits hanging about. Coarse brush. Let's go and find one together. Just pulling all of their SH120 off into the centre. And I'm not helping at all. I'm just stood here like a lemon. But yes. Uh, and then we'll get the white sheet off there, white sheet off here. I'll get a stiff brush, stiff brush, Roy. So the reason why this shed here has got to be near enough a copy of that shed over there is because this is where the dry cows are going and we don't want them to come from such a different environment. So obviously the mattresses are the same, which are actually next to me here. As you can see, these are mere mats and cubicles are the same. Um, it should be a seamless transition, I hope. Mathematician at work. There must be a cubicle shot there. 34. Not make them fit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty. Yeah, that's right. Wall of fog is coming. It's coming. Get out and I'm stuck. And I'm trapped a cow in the cubicle. 
my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is wrong? It's minus four and a half. What do you think, girls? They think it's cold. There's a hole. There's a hole. Very nice. Stock. It's running on my new mats. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh. It did move. Very, very stuck. Scalibur. just had a power cut um, and I just wanted to show you what happens to the robots when the power goes off and they literally they fall on the floor like they are actually on the floor here oh if you look here they're just completely off and off so when the power goes off they just fall on the floor the arm just goes boom um, it's quite brutal when you watch it do it as well. So just turn it back on, the arms calibrating. I'll press accept and then they'll reboot and start again. Aviation updates. Taking over. <laughs> when, when a rep comes in the yard. I just saw sparks and let me tell you this thing goes with a bang when it goes it's like a gunshot going off slightly concerning We'll have a carver. We'll have a carver. So she has been on rather a little bit too long, if I'm honest. Um, I came out and saw her first around maybe eight o'clock. She had a string. The string had obviously been a bag that had burst and had gone an opaque white color instead of clear. So it's been out a little bit of a while. Anyway, I thought, give her, give her, just give her the benefit of the doubt. Throw in a pen, so throw in a pen and she has just put feet out. There are said feet. Can you she? I'll go and get her some more straw um, and hoy it in here because she's trampled a little bit. So this carving pen is literally just used for carves now. Um, and as we haven't had many, uh, we're actually, we're, we're swept out. There's nothing here. So I'm just having to chuck straw everywhere. Yeah, we're, we're, oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, how lovely. Now those are large feet, but actually she's making progress and there's no need for me to step in. So I'm just gonna go and get some more straw. 
You can see calves perfectly alive, moving its little feet, wiggling its little legs like this. Um, I'll get some more straw and hoi that in. Annoyingly, everyone's going to come over and eat it, but never mind. At least she'll have company while she's carving. So she's looking for her calf there. Yeah, that'll fly out. That'll fly out. I'll go and get a bit more straw. Put it in so it's nice and clean. Get out of the way, please. There's no need for this drama. Get out. You know I said I wanted naughty cows? You're not even funny. Get out of my way. Ah, what the hair? Ah! It actually just... Sorry, I um, didn't video any of that for you. She just pushed the calf out. Calf's still in, everyone's happy. Um, I was on a, a call. Uh, but yeah. Cow looks slightly shell-shocked, but all right. Good morning. Good girl, stand up. Good lass. So I go and get her a drink. Oh, special. So it is a beef short on, very dark red. Definitely not a jersey. So I would just grab the calf some powder colostrum and stick that into it. We have, not that we're um, feeding any of our jerseys any milk from the cows. They, they're not getting any, they're getting powdered stuff. We've never had good quality colostrum. Um, I just had it in my head that Jersey milk would be thick and creamy and have really good quality colostrum. Not that it matters because we're not using it, but every time I've measured it on that refractometer thing, it's been crap. So I don't know why that would be. Not that it matters because we're not using it, but it just as a, a point of interest. Yeah, we've never had good quality colostrum and I don't know why. Maybe shake. Come on, ladies. The more horrified you all are about my squiggles, the more warmed my heart is and the more it pleases me. Come on around the gate. Don't be silly now. Fire to the great. She's looking healthy. Come on, girls. They're all looking at me some yellow bums there. I'm gonna leave the video here. We're still on um, coring. It's one of them jobs that just takes forever. Um, but it just is what it is, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, um, when I finish coring, next video will be a bit more exciting because we'll be putting posts in and fixing mattresses down. Um, and then after that, we've learned from last time. We will not be putting the cubicles in until we put the mattresses down because when we were in the big shed, we had to take all the cubicles loosen them all off to screw the mattresses down. It was painful, it was painful. And then someone else was going to put the mattresses down for us and they had to loosen them all off. It was terrible, honestly, so embarrassing. Rookie error, schoolboy mistake, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you long time and I'll see you next time.